So it is that time of the time of the time, time of the day. that we start packing up and we need to clean. Uh, there are things everywhere. The ground is dirty because we've been digging in the dirt. We haven't even, wow, I do look homeless. <laughs> we haven't even worried about getting the, the like stuff on the ground because we've been doing so much. We were like, screw it. It's just going to happen. So like we said, uh, it's time to clean up. Everybody's favorite part, you know, just watching us clean. Watch me make the bed. Yeah. Someone's like, I don't know how many times I've, I've never watched someone make a bed so many times. I know. But, um, yeah, we kind of failed this week. We struck out with the pool cleaner. So there, I mean, it's filled up with water. It's ready to go. All that needs to happen is we need to get the right chemicals and for a professional to turn it on because I don't want to be liable. Like, I'd rather have a professional know if something was wrong with it. So hopefully somebody can come next week and we can get it powered on. Um, a lot of good updates to the house this week. Do feel kind of like a failure. It sucks, it sucks. but we have an, our own house that like we need to go back to and our own lives that we need to get back to. So that's it for this episode. We're gonna now clean and- See you in the next one. See you when you see ya. So if you guys saw us install these push block countertops, we've talked about them before. They are actually from Ikea and um, they're like a year and a half old now. And I mean, there's definitely some weathering to them around the edges where the um, water kind of sits from guests and stuff like that. But one of the things that I have noticed is they've gotten lighter because the cleaners, you know, they're clean, getting cleaned like very often. So one of the things that we, are supposed to do is condition them and we've talked about this before but this is a John Taylor butcher block conditioner it's food grade um, yeah let's do this Our Brooklinen Lux Hardcore bed sheets. We're gonna upgrade the queen bedroom because you guys know we've been slowly upgrading the house here and there, and the queen room needs a little TLC. So we've got these sheets, and I'm very excited to put them on. I have never felt Brooklinen sheets before, so this is a first time for me. We got the cream sheet set and then white duvet cover and pillowcases because I figured it'd be a nice contrast. We love using whites and creams for bedding because they're easy to clean or bleach, which we don't use anymore because we're on septic tank and that can mess up the bacteria in the septic tank. So the way we wash the whites is with baking soda now and some vinegar and obviously laundry detergent. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. Ooh. Ooh, these are nice. You see that like sateen look? These will keep you really cool during the summer and it's March, so summer months are coming up hot. No pun intended. Actually, pun intended. These are really nice. They had 20 plus patterns and colors for us to choose from, so it was a little tough because there were some green shades that I was like, ooh, we could really make the room like totally different, but because we are a short-term rental, it's just easier to stick with whites and creams. Luxury bedding is so expensive, and since we have to keep three sets of sheets at the house, Brooklinen gives us that quality 
and luxe feel without breaking the bank. I did it wrong. I feel like you guys have watched me make a bed so many times, but of course now I'm like having technical difficulties. You're excited to sleep on them? Michael says he's excited to sleep on them. I love sateen sheets. I grew up with sateen sheets. That word is so funny. Sateen. And they're really cooling the cold side of the pillow vibe. What I love about the sheet set is obviously they come with pillowcases to match. So I did the bundle, which means you get the core sheets and then you also get the duvet plus pillowcases that match the duvet. But the sheet set comes with their own pillowcases too. So we're gonna have two cream pillowcases and then two bright white pillowcases, just like the duvet cover. So it'll be a nice creamy white, delicious mix and very cozy because it's very soft. And I love how this has that cap over top because the pillow's not just gonna slide right out and then show off your pillow protectors, you know? <laughs> 2023 is our year of upgrading the house and I think adding luxury bedding to our rooms is super important as a short-term rental because sometimes people check in late and the first thing that they experience is your bed. And if your bedding isn't up to quality, they're gonna come and that's their first experience. They're gonna be like, oh, I don't know, I didn't sleep that well. It wasn't very comfortable. So for us, I'm a bed snob. I need to be cozy and comfortable. I understand that life. Michael could sleep on the ground with a sheet on himself and he'd be fine. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, the duvet cover. <laughs> we're gonna put the duvet cover on in fast forward because if you know, you know. This is so nice though. Look at this. The bundle seems to be the best way to go on the hardcore luxe sheets because luxury sheets can go upwards 500 bucks and theirs are 200 to $250. So much better for a luxury sheet than paying so much money. It's nice. Right now, Brooklinen is having their sleep week sale and they're giving 20% off all items. It's the perfect time to stock up on your favorites or try Brooklinen for the first time. The sale is going through March 20th, so get to shopping. They've got over 100,000 five-star reviews. You can shop for the classic or luxe hardcore bundle from the comfort of your home. It's so easy to shop online. Like I said before, there's 20 plus colors and patterns to choose from. You can mix and match, it's so easy. All right, so we are out of here. It's been a long week. I think we got here Sunday night and it's Saturday right now. So we've been here almost a week. I just finished taking some new photos because we've updated some things in the house and the old photos don't really reflect it. So we're going to grab some in and out on the way home. And this has been a fun little adventure. Hopefully next week we'll have the pool person figured out. And hopefully our guests have a great, great stay. We got to close the garage, but <laughs> we'll go home. Okay, house, you be good. Michael's in there taking the last minute photos, but it looks so nice. We finished deep cleaning. I always get a little irritated mid clean because I'm like, you're not going fast enough. Like, why aren't you moving fast enough? But I just have to give myself grace because I'm deep cleaning to make sure that the house is as pristine as possible so that our cleaners just have to keep that up. Hopefully, if the guests aren't horrible, you know, with cleanliness in regards to cleanliness. So, that always feels really good because I know the house is in really good shape when we're leaving. Yeah, and then I just messaged our guests and told them they could check in at two because we're done and come on in, enjoy. Because I feel guilty that there is no pool and we were hoping and praying that would happen. Okay, I'm gonna stop harping on it now 
Michael told me to get over it. So he is correct, I believe, and I need to get over it. <laughs> Okay, so what? So we have updates on the hot tub situation. Kristen has solved the problem, maybe? Maybe. I went on Google and I found a couple other pool services. And I think we found our guy. Yeah. Tomorrow, right? Yep, tomorrow. Tomorrow the guy will go and hopefully set up the chemicals, get it started and heating up. And I think what we might do is since... We might go out on Wednesday just for the night. Mm -hmm. Go out there and make sure everything's good. Learn how to use it. Learn what it's like and write rewrite our guest book so that we have information on that in there so that our guests over the next weekend can do it. And we can also update our Logify, our Airbnb, our VRBO with Hot Tub, which is very exciting. Fingers crossed that it makes more bookings. Last week I was so defeated and today I feel so liberated. <laughs> now we just have a long day of regular work stuff and a video hopefully going up tonight. Oh yeah, a video going up tonight. <laughs> We are back at it again today. We are, it is 8 a.m. and we are almost to the house. We had, like we showed you, we had the pool guy go yesterday and we want to make sure that it is actually working. So we is decided, yeah. So we decided to wake up at the crack of dawn, drive out here, see it, make sure it's working for our guests, take some really nice photos of it at sunset. Also on top of that, use it. Experience it, live it, love it. Excited, fingers crossed, everything is good. And this person didn't catfish us. Oh, they, they took photos, they were in our backyard. But it was just like a photo of the hot tub. Like, no the bubbles weren't even on, on, like. <laughs> so. I don't know if the bubbles are on when the hot tub's on. I think you have to put the bubbles on, right? I don't even know. Let's we're about to find out. So we made it. I am I'm back now to see how we're doing. It's on. Okay. It's definitely on. Guys, that's a hot tub. That is a hot tub. This looks cool, man. I'm excited. It's actually working. Okay, well, I have work to do, and then we're gonna come out and we'll play, and we'll get this thing popping. And friend, we're reunited. You could not have asked for a better desert escape. New Jersey, they played Barkle? <laughs> Barkle? Must, they must have brought one of their own games. No, it's, I think it's the brown box. No, that's backgammon. Oh. Well, does that make you happy? Yeah. So we're just sitting here chilling, working, having our coffee. Finn noticed that the dogs were outside. Finn, be nice. Guess who's out there? <coughs> Wrangling horses. There's a lot of people in the area that have horses. So it's really cool to see them ride around. The horse looks so afraid of the, the, the dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. We took Finn to a polo match when we lived out in La Quinta and he absolutely hated the horses. So look at him now. He's like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> so yeah, he, not a big fan of horses over here. We are. He isn't. 
Ethan is being a scaredy cat right now. And he was literally sitting in the corner right here. So I put his bed in here. Long story long, I am going to change this rug out for the one we got at Target last night. This is also a Target rug, but it does a lot of this. And I know there's ways to fix that, but I don't know. It just, it kind of blends a little too much with the tile, I think. Let's see what we got. I'll leave you there, sir. So this is a historic moment. And look at the golden hour sun. Yeah, the sun, the sunset is so awesome. And we officially have a hot tub and we're able to try it. Thanks to Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, oh my gosh, this has been such a long process. Fingers crossed, more bookings. We'll make all this money back. <laughs> Higher rate per night. Yeah. got to get out of here so and shower and get ready yeah i do gotta say these sheets are super comfy yeah we just spent the night in them and yeah nothing but good thing good, no complaints over here what do you think cold side of the pillow like i said it's just always the cold side of the pillow it's like well, cool. and we had this heater cranking so yeah. this room got so warm but we stayed cool mm -hmm. so that's nice yeah i love them good addition all right should we start? Get moving. I've been up. Yeah. So it is that time. Finn does not like it, but he is here for the party. He doesn't like it because he wants attention. We are now going through and adding everything to our sites for the hot tub. One thing that we have found super helpful is going through a ton of other short-term rentals in the area and seeing how they word and all of the things that they put in the description of their listings about their hot tub. Some of them Kristen found say like, you agree to these terms. They have liability waivers and yeah. yeah. So that's been really helpful. We are going through and adding all that stuff now. Super exciting. Fingers crossed. Bookings just, you know, start flooding in. Just flooding in. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. It is getting added. Oh, now I have to nope. fill in these details, but yes. So I've added the photos to our listing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with this photo. This looks really nice to me. This looks like I want to stay. Right? My only thing is like, does a person draw, let us know, you guys, if you think having a person here, obviously we don't show her face. Should it just be this spa? Yeah. I think this looks a, a lot nicer. We upped our minimum price as well. Yeah, I, I mean, this is like, this Beautiful. is- Beautiful. We went through and we, we took new photos of the house to all like match the, the style, the vibe. And all our little upgrades of the decor that you guys saw us buy recently from local shops is all included in all of our new photos. The, I'm gonna wait on our personal website and tonight mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a reel because I feel like it's, it's not real unless it's on social media, right? Totally. And 
this is all after working an entirely full day, and I am so exhausted. It's 8.35. Yeah, it's 8.35. It's definitely a side hustle. Like, I've been waiting all day to get to this because I've been so excited. And we, get, we had somebody book for tomorrow for one night, so we had to message them like, Hey, just so you know, surprise, you're getting a hot tub. Here's some new rules. For a lower rate than you probably should have gotten. We'll see. You know? I mean, I'm, I'm worried there's going to be more sand in the house. People don't, some people don't like hot tubs. Some people do, do not like hot tubs. Yeah. No, nope. only one person I know. Yeah. So. <laughs> Katie. So. Exciting day. We've both been working all day and my phone has been blowing up. We had a last minute booking last night. <laughs> For today. And then throughout the day today, we got two more two bookings. More bookings. And one was through our direct booking website on Logify. So don't know how they found us, but Love it. very thankful. And uh, another one through Airbnb and they booked at our higher rate. And so we raised it. So like, instead of, we were charging like 195, 200 a night to now it's like 220, 230. Now I'm like, shoot, the house is so busy. We have back-to-back -back guests. Are we gonna have to have the pool guy come or twice the hot tub week. guy come twice a week to like clean? Yeah. Like, I don't know, all these thoughts going through my head. I mean, if we're judging by the second day of us having our hot tub list alive on the listing, not bad. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up so far. Four thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So that's the update and... Um, we're excited. So our guests just checked out today and we just got a message from them as they're leaving. And what did they say? Hot tub worked perfect. We had a great time. We'll post a review soon. Love all the touches and the real fire pit. Hot tub worked perfect. Amazing. So whew, my only concern is the shape that they left the hot tub in. Is it going to be okay for the next guest? That's like my biggest concern. Yeah, I think, right? I agree, yeah. Good stuff. Today is Valentine's Day. Michael bought me some beautiful roses and I'm gonna get started on this mantle before we have dinner tonight. I'm gonna get it all done, maybe. At least one coat, we'll see. We've got the color Joshua Tree. It's gonna go on there. Very excited about it. Here is an update of what it looks like. This side has two coats, this side only has one coat, and I think it looks a thousand times better than the black. <laughs> Guys, I am so stressed out right now. We just had guests check out. They left the place a disaster. I don't know how this happened, but we just got double booked. Somebody booked on VRBO. Somebody booked on Airbnb. I don't know how this happened. 